Hey guys, it's Ashley here. Welcome back to my channel for another video. And in this video, I am just going to do a really quick tutorial on how to make cut lines from a PDF for stickers using uh, Photoshop and Silhouette Studio. So um, I've downloaded this little um, half flag boxes for the Happy Planner. This is by my Planner Envy. Uh, she makes tons of free stickers for the Happy Planner and the Erin Condren Life Planner. So I will link to her awesome website below for free stickers. But um, now she does give the Silhouette Studio 3 files are available, but I wanted to show you in case you've downloaded um, a free PDF or printable from somewhere else that didn't have the Silhouette file included and you have a Silhouette and you wanna make use of your Silhouette and make the Kiss Cut stickers, um, I will show you how to do that using Photoshop. Now you do not need the um, extra Silhouette Designer um, upgrade that lets you open PDFs in uh, the Silhouette Studio because we're not going to import this PDF into the Silhouette Studio. So what we're actually going to do is take it into Photoshop, convert it into a PNG image, and uh, do a little something extra to it so that the trace um, function on the Silhouette Studio um, can pick up these boxes a lot easier. So it helps um, your stickers have nice clean cut lines. So let's get into this. So this is my PDF. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and I'm actually going to open it in Photoshop because Photoshop is by Adobe. So you can open PDF files in Photoshop. Um, so that is our first step. So I'm going to right click this and go to open with Photoshop. Now it brings you to this little uh, window here. And yes, we just want to import that page. There's only one page in this PDF, obviously. We want to keep the size here because it's size to fit um, within the cut lines of the silhouette um, borders and whatnot. We want to keep this size here. So push OK. And here it is, our little PDF. Now you'll notice that um, it says it is a PDF. So the first thing we want to do is just go to File, Save As, and we want to save this as a PNG. That's the first step, that's all you do. You open it in Photoshop and then you save it as a PNG. So save, perfect. Okay, so now what we do is we get rid of this because we're not gonna use this PDF anymore. We are going to open our new PNG. So open your new PNG into Photoshop. Now it looks exactly the same as the PDF did, but it's different. This is not a PGF, this is a PNG, so it is editable now. So before we bring this into our Silhouette Studio, we need to get rid of this white border because if you just imported this into Silhouette Studio, you went to your trace, um, it would have a hard time tracing um, all these boxes because of all the different colors uh, it might start tracing around some of the different colors and it, it might just have a hard time. Um, it'll probably be easier because these are boxes, but if you have something that has more um, intricate shapes, then uh, you will have a hard time. So what we're going to do first is we're going to give these a shadow. We're gonna make them all black so that the trace function can pick them up better. But before we do that, we have to get rid of this white background because if we tried to put a black background over this. I'm just gonna do it really quick. You will see what happens is it's gonna color the whole thing, which we do not want. So the first thing to do is right click your layer. Now, in the event that there may be a little lock button here, just push that and it will unlock the layer. Sometimes it does that if the layer is the only layer there, it reads it as the background layer. Um, so just give that a click and it'll go away. So then you right click your layer, you go to blending options and this layer style window pops up. Now, before we do anything else, it comes up to blending options default. That's what we want to look at. You see here, blend if gray, this layer, and you can see how this button here is all the way in the white. What happens and keep a look on this white here. If we drag this over, you can see, it turns everything transparent. Now we don't wanna to go too far, see how that's turning transparent. You literally just wanna do it enough 
that the little um, transparency shows up on the white. So literally it's just a little nudge and you can see the transparent shows up right away. So that's what we want. Push OK. And now you can see here all these boxes, if I zoom in, are now separate from the transparent background. That's what we want. So after that, we're going to save as, we're going to save it as a PNG again. And this time I'm just going to call it transparent. Okay, so now what we're going to do is open that new PNG that we made that's now transparent. Now we've opened our one that's transparent. So now it's reading these as separate from the background. So we're going to right click, blending options, and now we're going to go to color overlay and dun, 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 it's reading them now as separate from the background. So we don't want them to be red. We actually want them to be black. So make them black. We choose black because black is the highest contrast color. So it'll just make our trace function have a easier time. So again, we're now we're going to save as, and instead of calling it transparent, we're going to call it black. Just so that we know that's what it is. Make sure you save it as a PNG. All right, so that's all we need to do in Photoshop. Now let's go to our Silhouette Studio. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to open that black file. Open, okay. So now what we want to do is put in our registration marks. Let's go to registration marks, pick what you have. I have the Cameo. Um, I'm gonna make the thickness 0, 012. And we don't really need to adjust any of any of those lines because it's all going to fit. But if you wanted to, you can, we can maybe take it off the top. I like to put 0.397 because that's kind of like the thinnest that it can get before you, that it will let you get there. Okay. So we're just going to leave it like that. That's perfect. Everything fits inside. So now we're going to go to trace, select trace area and just draw a box over all that black. Now, if it doesn't select all of it, just make the trace area bigger. Sometimes you have to make it like massive <laughs> before it'll pick up all the boxes. There. Okay. So that's picked up everything. So now we're going to trace outer edge. Do not push trace because it'll try to trace whatever it thinks is inside. It may work in this case because they're just boxes, but it could mess you up if you have more detailed stickers. So push trace outer edge there. Now if we zoom in and we take away our shadows, <gasps> look, we have some nice clean cut lines. So make sure you have your black layer selected and just push delete. And we're left with these beautiful cut lines. So take a look at your cut lines, make sure they're all nice. And before we bring in our colored layer, I'm just going to get rid of this because we don't want to cut out this title. So the easiest way to do that is to just get your eraser, make sure it's set on outline, not solid, and just erase it. Because if the cut line is erased, it's not gonna cut. Make sure that's all gone. Okay, now I'm just gonna have a look, make sure there's nothing else that I want to, oh yeah, this stuff on the bottom I don't want either. So get rid of all that so that your silhouette doesn't waste its time trying to cut that. I mean, you don't have to, but the words are so close together, it'll kind of like mangle your paper if the silhouette tries to cut all of that. So I always delete them. And in my own sticker files, I always do this too. So if you have the silhouette file of my stickers, uh, it will never print the title because I, I do this before I finalize the cut lines. Okay, so now, we are ready to open our good copy. So make sure you are picking the one that is the transparent PNG. Just drag it into the silhouette file. 
Either way works, but I'm just going to go copy and then you click on your original one and you paste. Okay, so now to help us line this up better, what I'm actually going to do is make sure that this layer is selected. Go object, object arrange, send to back. And you can see here it sent it behind our cut line. So now it's easier to see. So now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to use the arrow functions on my keyboards to nudge and just make sure that they're all nice lined up looking. So that looks about right. Again, see there's no cut lines around this text, so it will print, but your silhouette will not cut it, which is what you want. So now I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. What I like to do is with the arrow highlighted, just make a big highlight over all your layers and just go object group. You could just push control G also, and that way they're grouped together. So if you accidentally like move them, they're all together. So I'll just put control Z to undo that. And now you are ready to go. So if you go to cut, you can see it is just going to cut the outline of all these boxes and it will be beautiful. So now you're ready to go. Just send it to your silhouette on whatever paper you're using, your normal silhouette settings, and uh, you're good to go. So um, that's my tutorial there on how to make cut lines from a PDF. I hope that's helpful to you. If you, uh, just a note, if you buy my stickers on Etsy, the digital version ones, um, Etsy does not allow Silhouette Studio files to be uploaded. So all I have available there are the PDFs, but if you have a silhouette, please go to my main website, which is mintfoxstationery.com because um, for every digital purchase, I include both the PDF and the silhouette together. Uh, and I include the cut lines, like no extra charge. So you get both. So if you have a silhouette, that's how you can get the ones with the cut lines so that you don't have to do all these extra steps. And if you just want a physical copy of the stickers, that is where you can order it from as well. I hope this tutorial um, was helpful and let me know if you'd like some more silhouette related tutorials in the future, because I can definitely do that. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you for the next video.